what's going on everybody good morning well if you watched the last video you saw that uh i'm fishing the hogskin championship hogskin bass club championship it's a two-day event on pendleton arkansas river as you can see i'm on pendleton um I'm blessed. I'm very blessed. Uh, as you saw on day one, I weighed in 932. I didn't put what I was ranked, but I ended up uh, coming out with the lead after day one. And, you know, really blessed, really humble about the whole experience and uh, excited to get day two started. Now we're on championship Sunday and I'm not a big fan of fishing on Sundays, as you saw in the practice video, but the good thing about fishing on Sundays doesn't mean that you have to lose your walk with God. And this morning I was thinking about how blessed I was to be able to weigh in those fish yesterday and try to stay humble about the whole experience and y'all i'm not even gonna lie i was at one time in my life i was probably the least humble person on the face of the planet i was arrogant i was cocky and i have been humbled a many a time since then god has really really taken hold um made me look up a verse this morning on the way up here and i wanted to share it with you probably gonna be on my jersey next year i really like this verse uh it's proverbs 11 2 and it says when pride cometh then cometh shame but with the lowly is wisdom and i think that's a really important thing to talk about this morning is the fact that if you let god work in your life that every experience that you have could be a learning experience and <clears throat> my humility in the past has definitely been a a learning experience for me it has taught me how to care for others how to uh, not sweat it when things aren't really going my way but learn from them and and move forward so I hope you uh, enjoy that. Just a quick devotional this morning on Sunday. We're going to get after it. Hopefully we can get five. I think if I get eight pounds, then I should be at least in the top three, if not maybe win this thing. So eight pounds is kind of my baseline today. Anything above that is going to be a bonus. <clears throat> so let's get after it. Let that thing stop doing that. I'm gonna say this. I hope I'm gonna go back in this video to look and see if y'all saw that right there. I know there aren't any sharks in the Arkansas River, but that looked like a shark. That literally looked like a shark. Kentucky. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank Lord, show me that bit. 
doing the right thing or teach me I'm doing the wrong thing. One way or another, Lord, I love you and I thank you. In your name I pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Number two. And that's a good one. Alright, Lord. I listen. Thank you. I'm listening, Lord. Oh gosh, dang, that was a big one. That was a big and big and big one. And he only had the he only had it there. I didn't hook him. Okay. Lord, I'm listening. I'm listening. Need it no more. Oh! 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 I hooked him that time. Yeah, Lenny. I just missed another keeper. That was a good one, too. That was heavy. Gosh, dog, that was heavy. God. Let's see if I can. Maybe entice him with a mid rig. Uh, man, I think I hooked him on that one, though. That sucks. Dude, as soon as I felt the... Oh, gosh! Did I break it? Oh, my gosh! What am I doing? Jarrett Lane rushing. What are you doing, son? Crap! Okay. That, that was a bite. Oh my gosh, man. I might have just lost the tournament right here on the end of this piling. There we go. Got him that time, finally. That's a good one, too. That's a real good one. That's a real good one. Are you kidding me? How does that happen? Oh Lord, come on, man. Dude, I have seriously just lost the tournament right here. That was three keeper bikes that I had on this one pile. Oh, there's another one. God, that was bigger than the other one. Holy crap. Stay on, please, baby. Please, baby, stay on. Please, baby, stay on. That's a two and a half pound Kentucky dog jump. Oh, that's a two and a half pound Kentucky. Oh, Lord, I should have done had a, a big limit right here. Oh, I should have done had a humongous limit right here.
you gotta be kidding me right now, man. Dude, I'm, I'm trying to give this tournament away. I am trying my best to give this tournament away. I have done everything in my power just to hand it off and say, somebody else needs to win this stupid thing. Oh my, wow. This is epic, epic, how bad I'm fishing. Quarter Kentucky right there. Another 
big old Kentucky. Shoot, that one might call out both them other ones. Dang! That's another pound and three quarter Kentucky gone. Let's see where this other black stands with this guy. Done. We're gonna go south and we're about to pick this thing right here up and we're not gonna put it down for a while. He's not a big one, but he's definitely 12. Like he'd be a good one if uh, I needed him. I was going to get mad at me. I got to take this shirt off for a minute. But I lost my tan, and we're about to be out of summertime, so I'm going to get a tan while I can. Definitely gonna call out that one I got in there. Boy, whenever he flashed, I thought he was a freaking ginormous. All right, well, you know what? Heck with it. I think they're about the same size, anyways, if I'm not mistaken. Alright everybody, so uh, y'all seen what we did and I'm going to be honest, this is a really fun trip. Um, I tell you, today surprised the heck out of me. I really didn't think that we'd catch very many fish. I figured with this big chrono system pushing through, man, it was going to be tough, but y'all saw it. We, we had a good day. Um, this video will be released after AYBN. So just know that whatever we do next weekend for Arkansas Youth Bass, uh, it was highly based on what I did in this particular video alone. And it's, uh, it's awesome. Whenever you can call eight times, nine times, however many times I called in a day, you've had a really good day. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in. We'll go get these fish out, get them weighed. I'll report back to you here in a little bit, let you know what I weighed and uh, where I fished. Alright everybody, um, finished up weigh in at 10.45, I don't know yet, but looking pretty good that at least we're going to cut a check if nothing else, but uh, right now I am in the lead. I think there's about four more guys left to weigh, but uh, you know, things looking good. 10.45 is a heck of a day. Um, 
you know, I appreciate y'all following along. I'll uh, post right here what I actually do uh, as far as placing goes. But hey, y'all do me a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. Tell your friends about the video and like always. Y'all keep chopping.